Happening now, Giuliani slaps the cuffs on Bruce Orr with this legal bombshell by Amy Moreno for TruthFeedNews.com. Hang in there, folks. We're unraveling a large and convoluted ball of deep state yarn in regards to Spygate. But we're getting there. The latest testimony by disgraced DOJ official Bruce Orr has been key and will provide pieces to the puzzle as we move forward. In the meantime, President Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, is calling on Orr to be investigated for felonies. From the Daily Caller, Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani suggested the Department of Justice should investigate its own employee, Bruce Orr, over payments his wife received from Fusion GPS the opposition research firm that commissioned the Steele dossier. Writing on Twitter, Giuliani questioned whether the Justice Department has opened an investigation into whether Orr had written a waiver for his wife's work for Fusion GPS. What are the odds the DOJ or Mueller have begun an investigation of Bruce Orr for violating 18 U.S.C.? Section 208, that's a federal felony unless he disclosed all the facts to the DOJ and has written a waiver. How many do you know, uh, how many of you know what that is, Giuliani wrote. And here are his tweets. Orr's wife was financially benefited by Orr, a DOJ official, advanced the Steele phony dossier. Her firm uh, got some part of the $1.02 uh, million paid by Hillary Clinton and the DNC cronies, I would add, a crime unless he has a written waiver from Obama's politicized DOJ, which is possible. Orr's wife, a Russian expert named Nellie Orr, worked for Fusion GPS as part of its Democrat-funded investigation into possible collusion between the Trump campaign and Russian government. The law firm that represented the Clinton campaign and DNC paid Fusion GPS over a million dollars Hillary Clinton and her DNC uh, over a million dollars to investigate Trump. Fusion, which was founded by three former Wall Street Journal reporters, paid Steele $178,000 for his work and Nellie Orr was paid $44,000 according to California Republican Rep. Darrell Issa who took part in Orr's hearing Tuesday. The Daily Caller News Foundation reported that Orr did not obtain a conflict of interest waiver from the Justice Department for his wife's work. According to Giuliani, a former U.S. attorney, Orr's wife receiving money on the dossier project would constitute a crime unless he has a written waiver from Obama's politicized DOJ, which is possible. As for a comment, a, Depart a Justice Department spokeswoman referred the matter to the DOJ's Office of the Inspector General. So, why wouldn't Orr ask that? Uh, why wasn't Orr asked that question during the hearing? Was he asked if he had a written waiver? They know if he had or had not. So it seems he did have a waiver for, from Obama. You see what I'm saying? Because for Giuliani to come out and say this about that written waiver, you think or uh, wouldn't ha ISA wouldn't have questioned him then? And Giuliani, why did he come out with this tweet? He's giving us a heads up that Obama's politicized DOJ is possible he gave the written waiver, but he doesn't want to come right out and say and spill all the beans. So in other words, Obama gave or the waiver. You see? So Obama was involved 
Now that is incriminating, yeah. And or, yeah, he had to answer the question. And first of all, this paperwork, it's traceable. Well, there's all paperwork. The, aha, now I got it. Let me know now what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.